This video is going to be a beginner's guide to customizing avatars using uploaded accessories in Sansar. Sansar came from Linden Lab and it's the successor to Second Life, um, built from the ground up to handle virtual reality and it's currently an open beta so anyone can sign up an account and start creating. Alright, you need a couple pieces of software, but they're all free for this tutorial. Um, I'm going to put links in the description. We're also going to download a, uh, an STL file from Thingiverse. Big shout out to the Big Red Frog who created this Halo helmet we're going to use. Um, we're also going to go to a short little guide put out by Sansar that uh, has um, some tips on, on exactly how to do this. And we're also going to download a reference model there for our avatar. So follow the links in the description. I'm also going to put links for Sansar and Blender is the software we're going to be using today. All right, I'm in Blender now. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and clean out the uh, objects that are put in here, camera and light object in the cube. So I have an empty uh, template to work with. And then I'm going to import that FBX file that we downloaded at the reference model for our avatar. I went ahead and downloaded the male version, so we'll import that in. And then once that comes in, that's going to give us a good idea of scale and also where we can put things. Um, you'll see when we go into Sansar that there's a few places you can add accessories. One of them is ears. Uh, the other one is uh, on your wrist as a ring, um, glasses, and a necklace, I believe, are, are all the ones we can use. We're going to do a helmet, so we're going to use the, the ears reference point. So now I'm importing that helmet STL file we got from Thingiverse. And it's massive, so I'll go ahead and scale that down. Okay, now we're just going to uh, kind of match these two up. I've got the reference model I'm working on uh, getting this in there tight so it looks more realistic. I'm going to go ahead and leave the helmet a little bit large to look maybe a little more comical. That looks about right. There we go. So once I have that positioned, um, what I'll go ahead and do is select my reference model and I'll go ahead and delete that out. Now I have my helmet that I'm going to work with and I wanted to show you guys really quick uh, some of the, the pitfalls here. Um, before I was able to successfully add these I got all sorts of errors so I want to kind of go through that process. Right now I'm exporting an FBX file which is the only file type that Sansar will accept. Now I'm going to be over in Sansar and notice that there's a little icon at the top right called My Looks. You'll click on that. You'll find your avatar, hit the customize button, and then this thing that looks kind of like a bracelet at the bottom is our accessories. So this is what I was talking about with ears. Um, I have an old one here I'll go ahead and delete out. Now that it's cleared out, um, it's pretty straightforward. Notice that there are a few accessories included, but not really too much. I'm going to say add attachment. I'm going to browse that FBX file that I just saved from Blender. And I'm going to upload it here. Okay, notice the error that we just got. It says mesh contains no UVs. Now I'm a pretty uh, basic beginner when it comes to Blender and 3D modeling. So that kind of threw me for a loop when I was trying this out. I imagine anyone who's starting out is, is going to get some of these same errors. Um, but here's the fix. Go back into our Blender project. And you're going to want to be in edit mode. And then under mesh, there's a UV unwrap. I'm going to go ahead and hit unwrap. That step's important to uh, provide the information that Sansar is looking for in this model. Um, 
at this point you could probably export and I think it would work I'm gonna go ahead and add some materials to it just to make it look a little bit better so I'm creating a couple different colors of materials we'll just go ahead and make a uh, maybe a darker green color for the helmet notice how that's updating in my model because I have it selected already and it's my only material I'm in the directions it recommends that you set your specular type to fong on your material so I'm gonna go ahead and do that Then I'm gonna make one more material this is gonna be for the visor so basically I'll just have two separate colors in my helmet design here pick something that looks kinda cool And again, I don't really know what I'm doing with all these settings, but maybe we'll add some alpha to the transparency. Seems like it should be cool. All right, um, I'm gonna kinda skip through this really fast now, but basically I'm just selecting faces here and assigning that material I created for the visor. Probably a few people watching this who are better at Blender than I am or uh, more well versed there might be a quicker better way to do this um, I do like working with the STL file because I know right off the bat it was a simple solid mesh that I'm working with and I don't have any other weird errors or issues because of layers or because of multiple objects or anything like that I just finish cleaning this up here All right, there I have my model, how I like it. So let me walk you really quick through the export settings at this time. You're gonna go to File, and you're gonna click on Export, select the file type FBX. And then from here, there's just a couple settings you're gonna wanna make sure you have. Under Main, you wanna select Mesh. And under Geometries, you wanna turn on Tangent Space. If you've done those two things, you should be good to export your FBX file. So I'll overwrite that one I made before that didn't work. That should be good to go. Now I'm gonna come back into Sansar, do the same thing I did before. I'm gonna browse. Upload my FBX file. Immediately I notice it's taking longer than it did the first time, so that's a good sign. Okay, now to put on my accessory, I click the button. But wait, notice how it's on my foot. Okay, other than that, it actually looks pretty good. The materials are showing up. Um, I have my model there. Uh, I'm going to walk you through at this time what's going on here. Um, the first time I did this, it actually took me a little bit of uh, messing around to find out. Um, so there's two separate things we want to do. If I go back to this point, notice how that the, I think it's called a 3D cursor, the handles that move my model. Notice how on the reference model, they're located here at the, the 0, 0, 0 point, And my helmet's way up here with the helmet. Those need to match up. So what I'm going to do is use the right mouse click, or sorry, the left mouse click, and I'm going to set that target. Then under Object, Transform, an origin to 3D cursor that dropped down my 3D cursor for my helmet. I did that all while selecting the, the helmet object. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back, select the inverse, delete out my reference model. All right, so just to show you, I have that 3D cursor now at the origin point. So that's going to help the problem of it being on my foot. There's also another small issue with. Um, the way that things import uh, into Sansar that are coming from Blender. I imagine that if you're using different 3D software you wouldn't have this uh, same issue but Blender happens to uh, deal with the origin point a little bit differently so here's the fix. We're gonna make sure um, we're in the object 
pane over here. Um, we were in the materials pane. You kind of have to hover over these if you're new to it like I am. So in object, you'll notice now that I have some settings and the X rotation, what I'm going to do is set that as negative 90. D stands for degrees. And notice that at that point, the helmet moved down. This is just the fix you're going to probably have to use in Blender. Then hit Control A and apply that rotation. Okay, if you notice, now my 90, negative 90 changed to zero. That's the new set point. I'm going to put it up to 90 just so that I uh, have it back in a, a normal orientation. But really what I wanted was to set that uh, on the other axis. And now when I import into Sansar, it's going to deal with it a little bit better. So go through that same process, make sure I have main mesh, geometries, I'm going to se select tangent space, overwrite that helmet FBX. Now I'm going to come back into Sansar. Go into my looks again. Customize accessories. Here's that old one. Remember that it's shown up on my foot, which is no good. So I'll go ahead and delete that one out. And we're back to this point. We're going to add attachment. We're going to browse. And hopefully if all goes well, fingers crossed, we've got the orientation correct. Apply it. And there we are, success. This is an accessory, a custom accessory now on my avatar that I can save. Um, it mentions in some of the release notes that you'll notice there's no thumbnail of that. Uh, that's not supported yet in the beta. But I'll go ahead and finish this out and I'll jump into a VR experience so we can make sure that it worked. So notice that I'm wearing a helmet even though that's an accessory modifier for my ears. Uh, likewise, you can put things inside your hand using uh, the ring accessory or the bracelet or whatever. Um, basically, those things are just tracking how it moves with your body. Let's try this Toppleton Toy Town. You can't see it on your screen, but I'm closing out some of my Oculus stuff. Okay, so I'm all loaded in. Seems working right. Notice that it's tracking with my head. Some subtle movements. There we go. It's hanging on. Um, there's no mesh collider with this, but it doesn't matter because my head is already uh, part of that. So I might experience a little bit where my helmet can go through things, but not a huge deal since it's so close to my head. And there you have it. Um, Using this method or uh, playing around with this, you can get any kind of accessories in there. Um, just in my playing around, I've showed you a couple of the pitfalls that I found. I've also uh, noticed that it, depending on the size of the model that you try to upload, um, Sansar may or may not like it. It crashed when I used anything over uh, 5 or 10 megabytes in file size for the model. Of course, uh, for the more initiated, you'd probably not be discussing file size, you'd be talking about faces and triangles and things like that. Um, but for the absolute beginner, this is an easy way to just get in and get started um, putting out things on your avatar.